Hey there everyone, this is Sean. I'm here today to review the Solomon Speedcross 5. This shoe is what I consider to be one of the archetypal trail running shoes. When I think of trail running shoe, I think of this big, bad, burly Solomon Speedcross 5. So there's a lot of things that I liked about the Solomon Speedcross 5. Um, the first and most obvious that you're gonna see is the five millimeter lugs uh, on the sole of the shoe. These guys are nothing short of a cleat. Um, the contra grip sole is super, super grippy. One thing I was worried about is that um, you'd really feel these underfoot. I didn't find that to be the case. Um, I was doing a lot of trail running in these when I tested them in very steep conditions and the grip was superb. Um, really couldn't complain. I also worried that there might be some clumping between um, the the knobs, but I didn't experience that at all. I think they're spaced really mindfully. Um, so really burly um, and really appreciated that in the steep uh, Western Montana trails that I run in typically. As with uh, most Solomon shoes, you have this lace lock technology, um, which works really nicely, slides down super easy um, and snugs up nice and tight. Um, I was worried that, uh, this being my first pair of Solomons, I was worried that there might be some uh, slippage, some loosening on the run, but uh, even on runs that were over 10 miles, I experienced it a nice, a nice tight grip that didn't let go as the run uh, went on. So all this excess lace is neatly tucked into this little pocket here um, in the top of the tongue. So it just pops in there. Like so. Takes a little bit to get it all in there. But once you're stuffed in, you got a nice clean look to the top. You're not snagging that excess lace on um, rocks, twigs. Uh, another thing I really liked about the Solomon was this um, extra uh, debris shield that sits right below the laces and over top of the tongue. Um, this is just a nice extra barrier between all the stuff you encounter on the trail, all the debris that you might um, get inside your shoe, helping keep it out where it belongs. I really like the heel collar. It has a lot of cushioning um, and the tongue is cushioned nice uh, for these tiny little laces that might press down on your the top of your foot otherwise. The sides have these triangular vents that really help aerate the shoe as well as the toe. The toe box is a really nice reinforced welded um, technology that's gonna stand up to a lot of abuse um, and the shoe built for rugged terrain is gonna see that abuse so it's very, very nice to see. So initially I was a little bit concerned about the stack height but uh, it turned out it wasn't very tippy feeling when I was running in it so not a concern. In summary, the Speedcross 5 is a really nice shoe. It's very aggressively built. It's light coming in at 11 ounces. Very responsive on the trail. Feels like a racing flat crossed with a football cleat. Um, kind of a Franken shoe, um, but really built for that rugged, loose terrain where you need a ton of traction. Not your hybrid shoe for running half on road, half on trail. So if you're looking for something really aggressive, this is a sure bet.